Well, first of all, it's a camera guided cultivator or a, a cultivator attached to a camera guidance system. So the, the cameras uh, track the crop row and then the, um, the cultivator is attached to what's called a, a side shift system. So the front part of the side shift is attached to the tractor. That part is essentially fixed. And then the rear part <clears throat> slides on bearings um, back and forth uh, based on what the, the camera imaging system is, is seeing. So the big advantage there is um, we have auto uh, steering. <clears throat> we can get the cultivation tools uh, close to the crop plant um, and um, <clears throat> typically a little closer than you can uh, with manual steering or even GPS. This system here is designed for a small acreage vegetable crops. Uh, it's on a parallel linkage, so um, a, a ground following parallel linkage, which keeps a, a constant uh, cultivation depth. That's an advantage, particularly when used in combination with this device, which is called a finger weeder. So this is an attachment you can attach to any standard cultivator. What they are is a, a rubber finger wheel, so it's flexible. It's ground driven by some steel pins. These uh, uh, pairs of these are used in, in position um, uh, in the crop row so that the fingers overlap by oh, about a centimeter or two. And as the device goes through the field, these these fingers kind of crumble the soil uh, in the plant line and dislodge uh, small rooted weeds. The idea behind this project and these te technologies is that we're trying to uh, improve the cultivation system and do a bit uh, with the aim of uh, combating herbicide resistant weeds. So in order to do that, <clears throat> um, we're looking at uh, going in pretty early uh, at the early stage of growth and controlling uh, small weeds and so we're going in fairly early when the uh, at the cotyledon stage or, or less than uh, four leaf stage growth um, <clears throat> so the advantage with a camera guidance system is that we can get very close to that seedling cotton and not damage the crop that is also uh, an important characteristic for use of the uh, finger weeders that works best on uh, small maybe three four leaf or smaller weeds so if we go in at that early stage when the when the weeds are small we can control them if they get much larger than that then um, uh, our control efficacy is very poor we've conducted trials here at uh, the Yuma Ag Center in Yuma Arizona and also at the University of Arizona's uh, Maricopa Ag Center uh, and here at the Yuma site we have pretty heavy soil and if the soil conditions aren't correct um, it's, it's pretty challenging conditions for doing that uh, essentially very shallow tillage with the uh, finger weeders if the, if the moisture is correct they work pretty well but you only have a one or two day uh, window uh, to get that timing right. The standard cultivating tools uh, work well pretty much regardless of uh, soil conditions. Um, the, the lighter soils we're definitely getting uh, seeing better performance and better results. Well, it's just simply easier to uh, till the soil. One thing I would like to add is this shifted hitch system can be attached to any cultivator, any implement uh, you want. So it, you're not locked into it. This is a complete system. So again there, your maintenance would be whatever maintenance it is on your standard cultivator. As far as the electronics, um, that is uh, uh, weatherproof and uh, standard NEMA certified and, and whatnot. So with the side shift system, it, it's uh, fairly easy to maintain. There aren't a lot of moving parts, just uh, uh, grease some bearings now and again. So it's fairly easy and straightforward.
This can be uh, scaled up, and in fact, I think it would work better um, a little bit wider. Um, again, the more crop rows the imaging system sees, the, the better it's going to be performed. The capacity of the uh, shift hitch, I think, I want to say it's uh, 7,000 pounds. So whatever size implement you can um, uh, put on it under that uh, weight, uh, it would work fine. Minimum horsepower is whatever your cultivator would would require. We're pulling this little four row with a 125 horsepower tractor. The, the future is definitely towards automation and mechanization. For uh, cotton crops, I, I, I think the challenge is there with herbicide resistant weeds. Anything we can do to improve cultivation uh, Cultivator performance would certainly be an asset there. Um, shelling out $35,000 for a guidance system um, may be a little bit difficult to pencil out. Uh, it does work. Uh, uh, does work well. Improves uh, performance. Something that may be cost effective uh, for growers and uh, cotton would be the finger leaders. Our, our results are showing that these devices remove about 50% uh, of the in-row weeds. Um, that's a, a fairly substantial um, percentage <clears throat> of weeds for the uh, price point of those devices. As far as uh, higher value crops like vegetables, um, I think the, the trend definitely, again, is towards automation and mechanization. We're using a lot of hand labor to remove weeds don't have a lot of um, uh, herbicides uh, available to us, particularly GMOs uh, and uh, uh, glyphosate resistant crops. So uh, we're seeing a lot more um, uh, interest in, um, we're seeing a lot more interest in devices like this, um, finger weeders, in row weeding tools, and also uh, 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 camera guidance and uh, uh, automated cultivators tied with uh, imaging systems that identify individual crop plants.